hanging with us all day. We appreciate it. Let's get a look back at how our final went down between Saskatoon and Pettis. The packed crowd for the final between two of the best teams that we've seen on the 3x3 tour. Team Patty came out and scored a, a couple of quick buckets. Jonti and The Undertaker, and then Michael Linklater, your MVP, started making his presence known. He pulled a, a couple of moves out of his bag of tricks that crossover is so, so dangerous. And he can just hit you with that in a split second. Nice uh, jam from Corby there. And that was probably the worst play for Michael Linklater all day because he was a part of that poster. But he brushed that off real quick. Found his way to the bucket. Did a lot of scoring in the final. And it's the timely buckets that he's able to, to make and the smart plays. I, I spoke about that play during the game. He could have continued to drive to the cup. Instead, he stopped just short and pulled up from two. Nolan Rudell, the sharpshooter that he is, the young gun, number 10 in the world, was a huge contributor. Without him, Saskatoon likely wouldn't be there. Willie Murdoch, although he got worked on this play, uh, solid defensively. And I was anticipating him guarding Dominique Jonti. Jonti, meanwhile, got his ankles took by Linklater on this play. And that's so nice, you got to see it twice. As Saskatoon started to get some cushion, you know, past the midway point of this game. Paris fought as hard as they could and, and really gave Saskatoon all they could handle. Dominique Jonti gets to the cup here. He and Nola Rudell battled from the start of this game. Corby doing things inside and out. And it was 14 apiece until that happened. Nolan Rudell with probably the biggest shot of the game that uh, gave him 16 points. Uh, good sportsmanship to go around once this one was all said and done. And a hard-fought game for Dominic Jonti and company, but there are your Lausanne champs of 2016.